And we work in a business of tough competitors. I love you. You complete me. Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? That's right. I love you. You guys complete me. I'm nothing without you guys, and you know this, or else why would I wake up every day and put myself through such torture trying to explain to you guys over and over again what it is I'm talking about? It's because I care. Just keep that in mind. Let's get into this, shall we? Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. Cognitive dissonance is the internal conflict that occurs in a person when they hold two conflicting beliefs simultaneously. Cognitive dissonance theory states that our minds go through a process of confusion and logical conflict called cognitive dissonance when faced with new information that conflicts with the existing information. We aim to resolve this to return to a state of cognitive equilibrium. Yeah, this is what a lot of you are suffering from. You see, for so long, you guys believed that you would one day wake up and the Iraqi dinar would be revalued and you would be a millionaire. All of you believe this. Then somebody like me comes along and says, well, wait a minute, there's another possibility that could play out in which you don't make millions. And then your heads explode. And then you guys attack me. Yeah, he just always talking about blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Calm down, Sparky. I never said what was going to happen to Iraqi dinar was going to happen one way or another. I'm saying here are the possibilities that you should be aware of. I find it interesting. I made tons of videos telling you guys this is what could happen to the Iraqi dinar and give you guys possibilities. But then people only hear one part of it. They don't hear the other, which is very interesting. Too bad we all didn't put our money into Bitcoin all those years ago. We gambled on the wrong speculation. Well, Monday night quarterbacking is uh, always easy to do, especially when you're looking at things in hindsight. Thank you, Pete. You're very welcome, Jen. So this entire thing is pointless. Why are you still doing this? Doing what exactly? Making videos? Who said it was pointless? Nobody said it was pointless. I make the videos to make sure that people are staying grounded and that they're being properly informed about all possibilities. That's why I do this. Well, it gets a lot of listeners when you put in the title anything about the dinar. Most here are here for the dinar and not for the other investments. If he gets likes or subscribes and money as it's profitable still for him to talk about the dinar and enjoy the debate with anyone on it also. He likes it all. Most would. Um, a couple things about that. You don't make money off the subscribers. You make money off the listeners. And actually, I made more money talking about Nasera Jacera than I did anything else. Back on my other channel, if you guys remember, I had almost 80,000 subscribers. On this channel, I don't have that many subscribers. And I've mostly been focusing on talking about the dinar. Although I started talking about other subjects, yeah, the dinar I kind of stick to because there's so much misinformation and people purposely misleading you. There are other possibilities that I'm bringing to your attention, whether you like it or not. At this point, it's best to save the three zero notes and deliver them and leave them around for your children and grandchildren to sell as collectors. Yeah, it really just depends on what kind of grade and if they're uncirculated. There's a lot of factors involved when you're talking about investing into collectibles. But that's something you could do with it or else you could just wait and find out what actually happens to the dinar. I don't know if I'm doing the math right. If you have a million dollars worth of dinars, you lose the zeros, it's worth a thousand. If it goes to three to one, you got 3,000. Meaning if my 25 dinar note goes to 25, now I multiply it out three to one if it goes that high. Kinda, I think you got it here. So 
just to simplify things, if you have 25,000 dinar and it deletes the zeros, it does drop down to 25 dinar. And then you'd multiply times the exchange rate, which would be 76 cents. But if it does increase to three to one, then you would be three times 25 would be the way to multiply it. Yeah, that's close, Denny. But just remember, that's a possibility. Nobody said that's what they're going to do. That's not set in stone. That's just a possibility that I brought up. Because you're subscribing to his channel and he gets paid. Uh, again, it's not because of subscriptions. It helps, but that's not how you get paid through YouTube. Jonathan says, I'm no math genius, but that seems about right. And it goes down here and says, I do like how Frank26 now processes now that what I'm saying is only in my opinion. He's funny. But that what all should act like? Uh, I'm confused. Pimples here tells us all things are as a fact. And so be careful with that. Again, nothing factual, but your math works if I'm understanding you right. Uh, no, the only thing that Pimpy says is these are the possibilities. We don't do dates and we don't do rates. We can do calculations. Good question, Casey. Pimpy, it seems easy for you to believe they will re-denominate. They won't do that. You really think the coalition forces will go for that? I think not. Hopefully, we will soon see enough. Uh, the coalition. You talk about the coalition forces, huh? Yeah, well, the coalition forces have nothing to do with the Iraqi dinar. Nothing at all. The people that control the Iraqi dinar would be the Central Bank of Iraq and the Iraqi government. So the coalition forces don't have a say-so. So we pay $130 for a 100,000 note for 25,000 notes, and then they will be worth 100. Keep selling precious metals. Uh, okay, I will. I'm not sure where you're going with this. As far as 130 for 100,000 notes and be worth 100, yeah, I'm not sure where you're going with that. So why are you doing this? Uh, once again, I'm doing this because I make content because I enjoy it. And there's a lot of information out there that people should be aware of. And so I share that. I keep my discernment level to medium. You never know how thong turn out, how things turn out, I think is what you're trying to say. Our world is upside down right now. Uh, yeah, I would say so. I agree with that. Good point. Pimples could very well be wrong. Be wrong? <laughs> you guys are too much, man. I never said what was going to happen for sure. For all we know, tomorrow we wake up. And we keep the zeros on our dinars and they change the exchange rate to one to one. That's always a possibility. What I'm doing is introducing the fact that there are other possibilities out there that you should be aware of. That's all I'm doing. The pimpster still can't get the idea that dinar was sanctioned and is still a restricted currency. What can't I get? I'm the one that brought it up to you guys. Most of you didn't even know that. Those three zero notes were created because the IQD was sanctioned. Well, it had a little to do with it, but not a lot. The three zeros were added because of hyperinflation. Saddam Hussein printed money like it was going out of style, all willy-nilly. Devalued the Iraqi dinar, but then once you add on sanctions to this, it really affected the economy. So yeah, things were uh, hyperinflated for sure. You know how to identify the old sanction restricted IQD? There is no old sanction restricted IQD. The ones we have right now are those IQDs. It's not like they had old notes and new notes. These are the current sanctioned notes. See this dinar? The ones we have, these have the extra zeros on there. These are the ones from hyperinflation. These are the sanctioned currency. So I'm not sure where you're going with that. The notes will have the three zeros on them. Yep, they'll have them on there, sure enough. These three zero notes will be collected by treasury, central banks, as those notes will be too valuable for domestic use. <laughs> no, they're not going to be collected because they have too much value. Their value is so worthless. That's why there's so many zeros there. The pristine uncirculated IQD notes are held in blocks while the damaged notes will be destroyed. What the hell are you talking about? Huh? If they re-denominate, they get rid of all the old notes, regardless if they're circulated or not. They get rid of them. The pristine uncirculated ones would be good to turn in and get graded and sell as collector's item. But uh, once they re-denominate, if they re-denominate, they get rid of the old currency and bring in new ones. To make a mountain out of a molehill? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Iraq's potential really effective exchange rate worth in the value of their IQD is the reason blue chip industries and superpower countries are invested in the IQD. What? So where is your proof that any country is invested in the IQD? So can anybody post me a link that shows us which countries are actually invested in the Iraq currency, the IQD? 
Can anybody show me that proof? Show me any kind of article out there that says this country is invested in the IQD, in the Iraq currency. Countries are not invested in the currency. These investors couldn't give a rat's ass about their projects involved. They all want Iraq to put up the IQD as collateral. The potential of the IQD to return from the present worth of one twelfth of a penny to 78 cents is how the finance world works. Is that, is that how it works? <laughs> the deal is Iraq getting all the financial ducks in a row, deleting corruption. If it was that simple, you know, you just push the deletion buttons and your corruption's gone. <laughs> That'd be nice. By passing financial laws that Iraq is still in the process of passing. The laws still haven't been published in the Gazette as required by the, by the World Trade or What? By the World Trade Organization? No. <laughs> the World Trade Organization does not require Iraq to post in the Gazette or publish in the Gazette that they have passed financial laws to delete corruption. Okay? They don't do that. You sound like Jay Paul calling out Iron Mike Tyson saying you want to spew your warped accounting views with Eminem and crew. I'm not sure exactly what you're saying there. Uh, Jake Paul calling out Mike Tyson is a huge mistake. He's going to get beat half to death by Mike Tyson easily. Spew your warped accounting views? Well, let me ask you something there, Edward. I keep showing you guys the proof. I show you the receipts. I show you the websites. I prove to you what I'm talking about. Where is everybody else proof? Where is your proof? Show me links to articles are, that are to the contrary. Take 5,000 from the other two fools, but don't let your alligator mouth overload your hummingbird ass. <laughs> That's good. I love that, man. That is funny. I could definitely count on laughing my ass off listening to your points of views. Keep it up, dog. You'll catch one of these days. Uh, okay, but that that's a good one. My alligator mouth overload my hummingbird ass. Yikes, man. That's If you think about the two, that's pretty funny, man. But yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. The sanctioneers can disavow and re-sanctions. I've had this thing in the back of my mind for a long time. 25000 note was not worth $3.50 USD per dinar. The previous original 25 dinar note was worth 3.5 per dinar. Iraq is a sovereign nation. We can hope the new rate will be good enough so that we break even or a one or two times. James, unfortunately, that is a possibility. That's what I've been saying to people. Yes, people keep talking about the 322 rate. And in their minds, they keep thinking, oh, yeah, the 322 rate when the Iraq had 25,000 dinar notes. No, that's not the case. That exchange rate is when they had lower denominations, not these hyperinflated currency. So, yes, James, you got the right idea. That is definitely a possibility. I know we're all hoping that the exchange rate will change without the deletion of the zeros. That's what we want. We'll see how that plays out. So they're telling me we should sell our dinar because it's about to lose us a lot of money. I'm seriously asking because it seems like none of this is turning out good for us holders. I'm saying we don't know what's going to happen. There's possibilities. There's a possibility we can wake up tomorrow and it's one to one and they haven't deleted the zeros and a lot of people are millionaires. There's a possibility we wake up tomorrow and they delete the zeros and we have to exchange it for the new currency and then they change it one to one and you're not a millionaire. Gillian says, I'll buy your dinar. Dino says, yes, according to Pimpy, we will be lucky to get our money back. Hope he's wrong. And everybody is wrong sometimes, even Pimpy. Arrogance is annoying. (laughs) Yes, people, I am wrong, man. I never said I'm 100% right. Yes, I have. Well, that's because I am. But there could be a time where I'm wrong. But nowhere in any of my videos... None of them whatsoever will you find me say that for sure this is what's going to happen. I'm saying it's a possibility. Can they leave the zeros on? That's a possibility. Can they delete the zeros off? That's a possibility. I'm just bringing it to your attention that there's other things to take in consideration. That's all I'm doing. Against the rules of international monetary policy to exchange the procedure. To ex- what, what procedure? I'm not sure what you're saying there, Manny. Dinar, no. But Pimpy is just pushing you to the limits for propaganda. That's, uh, I'm not sure what you're saying 100%, but it's not pushing people to the limits. It's bringing people's attention to the possibilities of what I'm doing. Pause. Here we go. Let's hear. Pimpy, I have to disagree with you. Iraq has no reason to reduce the dinars in circulation by a thousand times. Iraq is not in hyperinflation. That would be the only reason. See chat GPT. Okay, let's read. 
Iraq is not a hyperinflation. The dollars that are out there are the dollars that are hyperinflated. The dollars we currently see right now, those are hyperinflated dollars. So what does chat GPT say? Let's see. Reducing the dinar in circulation by such a significant factor like 1,000 times would likely be an extreme measure taken by the government or central bank of Iraq to combat hyperinflation. Hyperinflation occurs when the prices of goods and services rise uncontrollably, leading to a sharp devaluation of the currency. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. By reducing the dinars in circulation, the government aims to increase the value of the currency and stabilize prices. This process is often referred to as a re-denomination. Whether you call it the deletion of the zeros, removal of the zeros, reducing of the zeros, a lop, that's what a re-denomination is. Or a currency reform. It involves replacing the existing currency with a new one at a different exchange rate, typically with fewer zeros. That's what I've been talking about so far, so good. Such a drastic action may be necessary when the inflation rate becomes so high that the currency loses its value rapidly, causing economic instability and hardship for the population. That's what happened. By revaluing the currency and issuing new banknotes with lower denominations, the government seeks to restore confidence in the currency and create a more stable economic environment. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. This exact same thing that I said. So who you're saying is chat GPT. So chat GPT agrees with me. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Where would you change the old currency when no banks would take here in USA? My understanding is there are some banks, uh, I think it's Chase, that will take the Iraqi dinar. But if you can't find a bank, then we have to work with the exchange companies. And trust me, they charge you a hell of a premium, like one third of all your money. Is anybody else selling this shint? I'm not sure what the shint is. Sorry. I have a question. When Lambo? I don't know. When Lambo? That's a good question. You're not responsible for others' weaknesses. Ruxy, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. I don't believe anybody actually killed themselves uh, over something that I said because it just doesn't make no sense. Is it a possibility? Yeah, it's a possibility. But why would you blame the one guy that's being honest with you, telling you the truth versus the people who are lying to you and building you up with all this hopium to the point where if it doesn't happen that way, then you're depressed. Not based on what I said, based on because they misled you by lying to you and making you believe you're going to wake up one day being a millionaire. I'm just a person saying that's a possibility, but there's also another possibility. And that possibility is you might wake up and not be a millionaire. So I appreciate that. Thanks, Rexy. This would be a scam, Pimpy. Well, the currency is not a scam. The people using the currency to lie to you and mislead you, now that's a scam. As far as what our Rex going to do to currency, we're not sure yet. Like I said, we could wake up tomorrow. It could be one to one without the deletion of the zeros. And there will be a lot of millionaires. That's a possibility. But the other possibility is that we're not. Loved your report. You may be the only adult in the room. <laughs> Thanks, Ann. I appreciate that. Sure feels like it sometimes. <laughs> so this is not an investment. It's an investment. It's a speculative. Yep, there you go. Johnny says it right. It's a speculative investment. In other words, you roll the dice. If you get lucky, you get rich. Or you may not. We'll soon see. Sharon says, so the bottom line, the rate is uh, rate times 25 Oh, okay. Yeah, Sharon, if they if they delete the zeros, again, uh, people keep trying to make it sound like I said that this is what's going to happen. I'm saying to you, this is a possibility, the deletion of the zeros. I say that because they keep talking about it. But we're not sure. We'll see. Right now, it's just a talk. We'll see. That's correct. According to... <laughs> yes, according to Pimpy, we're all screwed. Hope he's wrong. Even though he continues to say that he's never wrong. I never say, well, I mean, I do say, it. well, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to be wrong. That's because I'm, I'm saying to you guys that this is a possibility. It's possible the zero stay on and we get a new exchange rate and we're all millionaires. There's a possibility they remove the zeros and we don't get anything. Paza says, let's be realistic. Over half of the Iraqi citizens keep their dinar at home because they don't trust the banks. Okay, I agree with that. I'd say more like 85% of the people. Can you imagine this Iraq citizen carries all their money to the bank and getting a new set of currencies 1,000 times less than what they walked in the door with, okay? That's if they re-denominate and then they remove the zeros, okay? Then they would go to the store and try to buy a loaf of bread. The store says that it would be 1,200 dinars 
and the buyer says, I only have the new 1.2 dinars. Okay, so what do you think if they delete the zeros off the currency and they re-denominate, what do you think? The prices are going to stay the same at the store? No. All that stuff has to be adjusted. Your salary has to be adjusted. The cost of things all have to be adjusted. They all have to remove the zeros. So I don't know why you think they would keep the old rate on the loaf of bread. That has to be adjusted as well. All prices, goods, and services in Iraq will be adjusted. Okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. See what I'm working with, people? See what I'm working with? <laughs> You sure are long-winded. Maybe you should start your own YouTube channel. <laughs> People hurt themselves over thinking to get rich. All they want is money and not really work for their money. The easy way out. Other thing, all guru talk about the dinar side action all being fooled. I'm not sure 100% what you're saying, but, you know, let's be honest. There are people out there that don't really understand what's going on and they believe every word that they're being told from a lot of these content creators and when somebody like me comes along and says there's a possibility it might not happen that way well then i'm the bad guy no that's not the case you should be mad at those people not being level with you i'm not saying it's going to happen one way or another i'm saying these are the possibilities well buy to the iraqi dinar i'm not saying get rid of it i still have mine that's your own opinion wc wrong for internationally wc wrong for international i'm not sure exactly what you're saying there but okay Thanks for the truth. You're very welcome. Your patience with people and the kinds of comments you get sometimes is nothing short of saintly. Cut to Pimpy's photo with the angel wing. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. I trust you the most, Pimpy. I appreciate all your hard work. Thank you. And I appreciate the kind words. Look, you guys, I get it. People are going to be upset because they never had this possibility sink in before. This never was spoken about. And a big portion of that is because the other content creators weren't even educated about this possibility. Even when they read about it, the deletion of the zeros, they still went on and believed in their own heads that it was something different than it is. But then you also got those individuals out there who um, are aware of the truth, but just continue to mislead and lie. And it's unfortunate. But I'm not saying, you guys, that what's going to happen one way or another for sure. We're going to find out. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Keep it coming. Been following you for a long time. I appreciate that, Ed. Dino says, yeah, me too. Since back when he thought this was a good investment. I still think it's a good investment. It has the potential. We will see. I listened to Frank and you, and he didn't mention you at all. Okay, good. Well, somebody said that he did. But again, my invitation is still open to all content creators out there. We should all get together and have a conversation. There's nothing wrong with uh, sharing our opinion on things. Good job, Pimpy. Thank you. Pimpy, what about one zero such as a 250 dinar, two zeros for the 500 IQD? Obviously, they're not using a 250 dinar or the 500 dinar just because they're too low. But when they re-denominate, that means all currencies, all of them are going to have a new look. Most likely what you're going to see is the same thing we see here in the United States. We have a $100 bill, a $50 bill, a $20 bill, a $10 bill, a $5 bill, and a $1 bill. Most likely, that's what you're going to see in the dinars. Same thing. I love listening to Melanie and others and dreaming of country estates and sailboats and dive vacations worldwide. But reality is Mr. Pimpy's take is correct. We simply need to hope and pray for a good enough exchange rate to get one times, two times, three times. The real winners are those promoters that charge for a plan to redeem the dinars. James, I appreciate that, but we're still not sure. That, like I said... There's possibilities out there and people should be aware of them. But yeah, if you guys are paying to get into people's Patreon groups or whatever other groups they want you to go into and you have to pay money for that information, seriously, as long as you've been paying money for those groups, what kind of information are you learning that you can't get out here for free? They're promising you special intel. But if you think about how much money you spent on Iraqi Dinar and how much money you spend every month for their groups, by the time it actually does revalue, you just spend more money than it was actually worth. <laughs> you don't have to be in Patreon groups, man. You're not getting any new information. I promise you, they're not telling you anything that you can't find out here in the real world for free. Come over to Pimby's channel. You don't have to like what I'm saying, but you get the information for free. The dinar will reevaluate when the USD fiat falls. Uh, that's going to be definitely a worldwide currency reset. 
Anyways, I think it's funny how I share information. I say this is a possibility, that's a possibility, but people only hear one thing. Just one thing. Pimpy said it's going to happen this way and we're not going to get anything. No, Pimpy said that's a possibility. I never said that's what exactly is going to happen. So calm your tits, people. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like I said, you complete me. I appreciate you guys chiming in. I'll get back at you later. I'm out.